Minecraft has 39 enchantments, each one having their very own purpose and most of them having more than one level. Well, that's if you play Java. If you're a bedrock player, I'm sorry, for more than one reason. And although the enchantments right now are good enough, I think that we could have some more interesting ones. Enchantments are supposed to be those mystical things that, whenever you open the enchanting table, you start reading a language that looks like what Welsh sounds like. Basically, I think there is a lot of missed potential for enchantments, and I'm gonna take that as a chance to make a video any day of the week. So welcome, I'm Ghosty, and today I'll be creating a whole new batch of enchantments for you to try out. If you've seen my last video, you might know that I don't know how to mod, yet, and I don't really like using command blocks. I do know how to use them, but I absolutely despise it. Which means I'll be using one of the tools I used there, Denizen, which is basically a plugin that allows me to easily write scripts. So, once again, I installed PaperMC and Denizen and immediately, and immediately, Im Im <laughs> and got to work straight up. I won't even bother with telling you all the enchantments I've made because there are a lot of them. More specifically, there are already 32 enchantments and possibly more on release, almost doubling the amount of enchantments Minecraft has. So, instead of showing you every single one of them, I will show a few cool ones and you can experiment with the rest of them as soon as the script becomes public, which will be very soon, where I'll also show you how to set up your server and install plugins. But, for now, let's get into it. Essentially, we have three types of enchantments. Attacking enchantments, defending enchantments, and utility enchantments. These are in no way set in stone, and I'll only be using them to facilitate explaining each enchantment for you. First, attacking enchantments. Those enhance your ability to damage enemies. So, for example, there is the wiseness enchantment, which makes you deal more damage the more XP you have. Although there is a limit to that, you can't just insta kill the ender dragon for level 100. As another example, there is Cripple, which simply slows your enemy down after you attack them. It may not be very strong, but I mean, it's a little help. There are also four new monster folks enchantments that work just like Smite or Bane of Arthropods, but this time, folks stone skeleton type mobs, fire type mobs, pig type mobs, and ender type mobs. I know this may seem very situational, but many times you know what you'll be fighting against, so they might be more useful than you expect. Next, we have the defending enchantments, which doesn't necessarily mean that they protect you, as stupid as that may sound, but rather that they are usually activated when the player is attacked, being more of a reaction against your enemy than a defense for yourself. For example, we have Pyromania, which honestly is more of a curse than an enchantment, since whenever you get attacked, you set whatever attacks you on fire, which usually causes this. Well, we also have Agility, which is an enchantment that adds a small chance for you to dodge the attacks of enemies, completely ignoring whatever damage it might deal to you. At last, there is Adrenaline. This one makes it so that, whenever you're attacked, you get haste. You may use this effect to mine your way out or to hit faster. Lastly, we have Utility Enchantments, which are not combat related and are probably the more useful ones. These include Regeneration, which passively heals you over time, Gliding, which allows you to fall slowly as long as you're holding shifts, and Farming, which is one of the more niche ones, as it allows you to instantly replant mature crops and stops you from breaking out fully grown crops. With all I've talked about, it may seem that there are no drawbacks to enchanting your weapons with those new enchantments. But well, you see, there is a bug in the system that makes the enchanting table not show what you'll be getting if it's a custom enchantment. There is nothing I can do about that, sorry. So I decided to use that to make a little game. With this new mechanic, whenever you enchant something, there is a chance that your item will be cursed instead of enchanted. What sense does it make, you ask? Well, look at the language you're trying to use. Those curses should be rare, and sometimes will even be applied together with whatever enchantment you would get. But before you get too scared by it, you can change your settings for those chances to be applied in the following ways. Always which means there is always a chance for a curse to be applied, even with vanilla enchantments. You can set it to custom, which means that curses can only be applied whenever you're adding a custom effect, or to never, which means that curses don't exist and you're too scared to face the consequences of trying for greatness. Now, let me show you a few curses. That sounds ominous. 
The curse of fear makes you always scared. Playing random monster sounds every so often. So, for example, you might be mining and... There is also the curse of the eclipse, which does not let you know what time it is by making it always night time. If you're exploring, you better keep removing this piece of armor, or you might not notice that the day is ending. As for rare curses, we have the curse of gluttony. If your food bar is not at least at 90%, you will get debuffed. It's not a big deal, but it's very annoying. Although, the most brutal curse has got to be the curse of exploding, which makes this happen. This would probably result in a rage quit. Well, that was it for my enchantments. As I said, I'll be releasing those very soon together with a very quick video on how to install them, so subscribe so that you get notified whenever this happens. Thank you all so much for the support on my previews and first video, I honestly didn't expect such positive feedback, and for it to do as well as it did, you guys are the best. That's it for me, so please leave a like on this video, and I'll see you on the next one.